Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. First time watching, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this tank I set up last year, if you remember, before Christmas. This is a little six gallon using a plenum. And as you can see, it's going well. It uses a bubbler for the plenum and it uses a little box filter bubbler. <clears throat> but when we look at this, I bought that Innovative Marine Aquarium. And someone said, oh, I'd like to buy that aquarium, but I don't, I watched your video on how to set up a reverse flow plenum. I said, okay. And uh, the problem I'm having is uh, I don't want it to be reverse flow. But I have another problem. I don't want to use a bubbler. I don't want the noise. I want it to be quiet. And I don't want it to be reverse flow. So how could I set that aquarium up, the Innovative Marine, without using a bubbler that will suck water from the bottom of the plenum slowly. And I don't have to hassle with it. I said, well, that's easy. I only showed that video because some people kept asking me, can I set up a plenum using reverse flow? I said, personally, I don't like using reverse flow plenums, and I haven't been using it as a reverse flow plenum, that that particular aquarium. I have not used it as a reverse flow after I did that video. I use it as a gravity flow plenum. And he said, gravity flow plenum? And I realized, uh, yes, I never made a video on a gravity, gravity flow plenum. So, that way, with all the tubes that I put together, as you can see by this picture, uh, he didn't want to put all that together. He just wants to use the motor that comes with it, connect up the outlet, and that's it. And he said, oh, I'd like to make a gravity flow plenum. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so what you're seeing here is you're seeing water coming from the plenum into the wear of the Innovative Marine. Now this is parts that you can buy at any hardware store, this black L-shape uh, piece. I think it's for half inch tubing. And you could see that it's running by itself without using any airlines, uh, with no pumps, no motors. And what it is, is that as long as that is higher than the water in the plenum, it will start a siphon automatically. So, <clears throat> once you fill up your aquarium, that will automatically start a siphon and start dumping water back into the plenum without any electricity. It's, it's just called a gravity flow plenum. As you can see, depending on how big the holes would be, see, here's the outlet to the pump, just like you would do with Innovative Marine. They would have the outlet, and that's it. So you still have to drill the half-inch hole with a step drill into the side of the, as you can see right here, you still have to do that. Then you make your plenum, just like I showed in the video, but the only difference is you add this piece and you just shove it through the hole that you drilled out. And I go through step by step on how to make the plenum and how to hook it up. The only difference is you're not going to use the reverse flow. You're just going to have it like as you see here. So there it is, the hookup. The hole was drilled and it goes right down. To the plenum. That's just a hose that I hooked up to that L-shaped connector. Like I said, I bought the L-shaped connector at Menards. And uh, Home Depot sells them. Anybody sells them. And that's it. You hook it up to your plenum. And as long as that is higher than the water that's in the wear, it will automatically start a siphon. And it will automatically go as fast as the diameter or the ID 
of your outlet. So since that's a small little ID, a small amount of water is constantly flowing through the plenum back into the wear, okay, and it's just gravity fed. <clears throat> well, I showed him some pictures, as I'm showing you, and he said, boy, is that easy to do. No air pumps, no motors, no nothing. I said, well, yeah. I said, we've done that a long time. Like a person who can have a lot of aquariums and using plenums, but they don't want to use a pump or they don't want to use a motor. This is one way of doing it, just gravity fed. And it will depend. See this orifice here? It will depend on what diameter that is as how much water flow. Now, like I said, this is a half inch uh, coupling. And I, I bet you the ID can't be more than, what, 375 thousandths of an inch, three-eighths of an inch. So that's how much water flows from it. This is not determined by your pump's output. This is going to be determined by the size of the ID of your inlet back into the wear. So now you have a plenum that makes no noise, uses zero air, and is silent. Now I added this on to the Innovative Marine as a catcher because I have baby fish inside this aquarium, and this stopped fish and snails from getting clogged up into the inlet. As you can see, there it is. It's just a little something I made to stop fish and snails from getting in to the sock. So, <clears throat> there it is, the pump, the output. that You get this with the Innovative Marine, so there's nothing you have to do with that. The only difference is you'll get the plate, which I show in my video. I show you how to drill the hole with a step drill, and you would add this onto it, and that's it. You're done. Pretty much, that's it. I thought I would show everybody that in case you decide you're going to buy one of these innovative marines or whatever, Red Sea or whatever, and you want to make a plenum, but you want it to be done easy without adding more motors. Hey, this is the easiest way I've done it is by using gravity. And it, or as you can see, it works. So that's about it for this video. I just wanted to show everybody. If you want to know more about this Innovative Marine, watch my video on the Innovative Marine and how I set it up and made the reverse flow. The only difference is you're not going to use all that extra tubing that I made okay, to make it reverse flow. And it makes it a lot simpler to make one of these than to add all that extra tubing that uh, to make it reverse flow. So that's pretty much it for this video. So I mean, I mean, if you think about it, how much easier can you get people? Come on, you got one motor running everything. You got your tube coming out from your plenum. Come on, it doesn't get any easier than this. This is all done through gravity. I, I don't understand why people make a mountain out of a molehill and make things more complicated than what they are. It's, it's not complicated. It's very simple to make a plenum and have it run for you, being silent with very little technology doing this. And uh, I only change the sock maybe once every month. I only change the sock to this aquarium. And the aquarium's doing fine. So, until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to show you, it is an innovative marine. I know usually around Christmas time, they start putting them on sale. In case you're thinking about buying one, maybe do a modification like I have here. Make the plenum, and you'll be set for years and years and years of enjoyment with your aquarium. So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you for watching and happy fish keeping.